Hi, I'm Canary3D and I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Manga Markers materials set. First of all, I've got um, a Genesis 8 female figure loaded. This is Periwinkle Plumwind and uh, she's wearing Quincy hair from April YSH. She's uh, standing in a pose by Capsis and her clothes are from Out of Touch's Genesis 8 female mega wardrobe. So, First, I'm going to put a texture set onto the character. I'm going through the content library. You can find things through smart content if you prefer that. I'm an old school content library person, so I'm just going to show you that method, but it's very similar through smart content. So I'm in the People Genesis 8 Female Materials folder and then Manga Markers. And so from here, I have um, nine preset looks that are hierarchical materials. So they will um, load the, uh, the eyelashes and um, the eyebrows as well as loading the skin. So we start with one of those. I'm just going to start with the pale G8F and uh, give it a second. My computer's not very zippy. Okay, so now that's loaded, and as you can see, she's got eyelashes, she's got eyeballs loaded, she's got her eyebrows loaded. So this is a ready-to-render look for her. And now let me show you how to select individual parts, though. So if you don't want to just load up one of the standard ones, you want different eyebrows, LIE eyebrows will stack on top of each other, so you need to reload the skin uh, in order to kind of uh, clear it. <clears throat> and I'll just show you these folders. Again, I apologize for the not zippiness. So here's all the eyebrows that you could be using. Here's all the skins. There's a couple of makeup. So let's change her to the pale skin that has the bold makeup. And you see her eyebrows have gone away here. And then let's choose an eyebrow. I'm going to choose the sad violet eyebrow. It takes a second to load LIE, so it sort of flashes back to the previous loaded one, and now you have sad brows. So um, now in order to change her eyelash color, you have to select the eyelashes and go into the lashes folder, because the lashes are a conforming figure for Genesis 8 female. They're not part of the figure. I'm going to give her violet lashes as well. So uh, let me just make sure I really clicked that. All right, that's loaded up the violet lashes. A little hard to see, but there we go. So, um, zoom back out. All right, so now I have the character mostly looking the way I want, but I want to change her eyes. So I have to go back to the Genesis 8 female character. I'm going to change her eyes. Um, I'm going to give her violet eyes the blended ones. You can have this more sort of strong stripes or the blended version. And then for the cornea, I'm going to put a little star in her cornea because you got to have the little cornea flares for the manga look. So now her eyes look the way that I want them. And so next um, I'm going to do her hair. So for the hair, it's going to use the original transparency that you can see the ends here have a transparency applied. We're going to close up the people part of the folder because we're done with that. We're going to go to shader presets and canary 3D, manga markers, and then here's hair. And it says hair color only just to remind you that it's not a full hair shader. It's only changing the diffuse color. Um, I'm going to give her this violet hair. And you see what I just did is I forgot it's a shader. It's not a um, material preset. It's a shader preset, which means I have to go to the surfaces. I have to select the surfaces for the hair. So I'm only going to select the ones that aren't the hair ties, right? Because the hair ties are clothing. Now I've selected these. Now I can apply this because it's a shader. And you see it changes the base color without changing any of the other settings in there. Now we can do our clothes. So let's start with the hair ties. And here we go to clothing. It's right next to the hair color in the folder. It's also a shader preset, but this is a full shader preset. It 
you know, it doesn't need a transparency or anything like that. So you can use these on anything. Um, now I'm going to change it up a little bit because she's got a lot of purple going on here. And so we have other colors that we could pick. I'm going to give her um, some uh, sketchy pink. And this is uh, just sort of an almost solid pink that's designed to look like it's been sketched um, with a marker. So my computer has to think for a minute. There you go. This computer um, does not have uh, an NVIDIA card, so it does all of its rendering on the CPU. And even with that, I definitely prefer iRay rendering. So, um, but these will render nicely in 3 Delight as well. So now for the camisole, I'm gonna stick with the pink theme, but I'm gonna do a little pink and purple. So for the shirt, I'm gonna put uh, this floral on and then for the trim, I'll put on some stripes. And I'm not crazy about that stripe, so I'm going to do a different stripe. Like with the purple, I don't like it as much. Eh, that's a little better. So for the shirt, I kind of like this, but it's pretty big. So then I've got this scaling option here. So I can change the scaling to be... Um, two by two. You can change it to anything you want by going in and typing it. I think I loaded up at two by two automatically. That makes it four by four, ten by ten, if you want a really small pattern. So here I'm going to put it at um, four by four, and then for the trim, I'm going to put it to ten by ten. So that gives a little bit of a different look. And then I'm going to go to her jeans. For the super jeans, there's a lot of different, uh, this is by out of touch, so um, it's got a lot of great different material zones to play around with. What I like to do when I'm applying textures to something like this is start off just applying the same thing to everything. Um, and so I'm going to put the purple sketchy on there, or violet I should say, sketchy on there. It's the same for everything, but then I go and pick out a few things that I'd like to be different. So I'm going to take the belt loops and the button, <coughs> and I'm going to make those red. That's a little too loud. I'm going to make them pink. There we go. So that gives a little bit of extra flavor. And then the last thing I notice, her nails are red, and maybe I want to go back to the people folder and pick up the nails, change them to be another color in. Huh, let's go with violet again. So now I have um, everything loaded and that's kind of the finished look. Before this finishes rendering though, I'm going to show you, you can add a background. So you want to go to your environment tab and then for the background, Um, here are the manga marker backgrounds. It will not quite be in this um, folder on yours. It will be named correctly. So now I'm going to pick one of these. These are um, a variety of papers and uh, that I scanned and um, some sort of sketchy drew with combo markers. Um, this is inspired by Copic and Tombow. Take the pink and drop that on the background. She's rendering you. And then we can give it a little more time to render with the backdrop. And um, the shader on this is designed to be have very little shine, um, similar uh, with a marker on it. Um, so it's the inspiration anyway. Um, and uh, if we just give her a minute, she'll render the rest of the way.